Tuskegee Airmen are the individuals and personnel who went through a program and were successful aviators, mechanics, support personnel uh, back in 1940 through, through basically about 1949. They were pilots who trained in Alabama, went over to parts of Africa to fly combat missions and later on flew out of Italy into Germany to escort World War II bombers. There were almost 1,000 pilots who were trained and about 400 went overseas, but the support personnel, which consisted of mechanics, operational officers, nurses, admin people, crew chiefs, numbered about 10,000. So a lot of people don't understand that it takes a lot of people to support a fighter squadron or, to, for that matter, a fighter wing or fighter group. The mission of the Red Tail Project is to use the Tuskegee Airmen as inspirational examples of success. They overcame adversity, discrimination they fought, and became successful and productive citizens and were extremely disciplined as military officers. And we want to communicate to individuals that no matter what your problems are, it is possible if you are a person who perseveres and is dedicated to the goal to accomplish the mission, just like the Tuskegee Airmen did back in a world that didn't want them to actually be successful. The airplane is just an educational tool to get people's attention uh, to come in and talk more about the Tuskegee Airmen and about the history of how they uh, fit into the, this nation's part in World War II. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. The restoration process began almost immediately after the crash in May 2004. With the blessing of the Heinz family, we all sat around and uh, came up with a strategy uh, of how to get the aircraft back together. And that strategy involved a massive fundraising and public awareness campaign, finding sponsors like Ben Bailey, a serious aircraft, to come aboard and uh, finance the parts and the reconstruction of a very rare model, C model. And there were very many naysayers here, uh, even as of three weeks ago, who thought the airplane would not be here. And we are very happy to prove the naysayers wrong. And the group of men who helped restore this aircraft are actually behind me. And they are volunteers who drove from Minneapolis up to North Dakota many times and worked the weekends, and they have families to get this aircraft together, as well as Cindy Beck, uh, Jerry's wife, and Tri-State Aviation uh, getting their team members who were working uh, overtime, basically, to uh, finish the project. But they had a sense of purpose, and they were driven with the passion of uh, what we were trying to do with the aircraft and tell the story. And there are also people here who are from the World War II generation who were protected by the airmen, and so there are and is a lot of emotion when you meet individuals who are alive today and have successful careers and very nice families because of the efforts of the Tuskegee Airmen. Well, the reception has been wonderful, uh, I think primarily because most people remember when the aircraft was here back initially in 2001 and later on actually I think in 2003. Uh, most people are aware that the airplane crashed in 2004 and that um, we are a bunch of volunteers and it would take a lot of effort to get the airplane uh, up to the state that you see it now. So I think people are happy to see that we were successful in overcoming our own personal adversity and getting the airplane to um, Oshkosh and fly in the Oshkosh Air Venture. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. 
my father was a man who was um, very Victorian, uh, a very Christian and well-disciplined individual from World War II, and he realized that if I gave my son the gift of aviation with my enthusiasm, it might be possible to go out and generate more enthusiasm and pass the torch. So I'm happy to go out and talk to people and try to basically ignite excitement, give them a sense of purpose and say, it is possible to do things that you might consider impossible. And so my father's message basically, and I wish he were still here, uh, would be to take this aircraft and go out and educate people, inspire people. Uh, and everybody involved in the project uh, looking down at us and smiling and thinking, you got it done, now take it out there and keep working, you know, and get after the kids, motivate, because the work is just beginning. Because the airplane is just a tool, but it's a story uh, about the airmen that is more important and also about how to have great hope and achieve your dreams. So that's what we're happy about. That's what the first flight was about, everything coming together and giving us a chance to retell the story. The message is don't give up. Uh, always have hope and think that you can achieve. And remember that there were people who came before you, like the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, who had a lot of obstacles in front of them, but they were able to actually move forward and overcome the adversity, you know, and uh, they never quit. And that's the important thing is to, if you believe in yourself and you have a goal, never quit until you achieve it.